Hey, it's Bernie Tusco, founder of Fret Guru, where I teach guitarists, professional luthiers, and aspiring guitar geeks how to create more tone, playability, and all-around mojo from your guitars, and hook you up with the innovative tools to do it better. When we left off in the first video, I was telling you about this burst of creativity that I had, which was inspired by a student's question, which just goes to show you, you never know where your next aha is going to come from. We're going to cover a lot of ground here over the next few minutes and I'm going to let you in on just what it is that I've been working on and creating and then we'll dive right into a tutorial on the best way to put this to use. And somewhere in there I want to run an idea by you where you can lend your creativity to the project and win yourself some precision fret guru tools in the process. In the near future we're going to be getting into some next level guitar performance strategies and working on some core fundamentals just to make sure we've got a solid foundation, but for now we'll just pick up where we left off in the last video. So rewind to the original question that I got, as I sat down at the computer to write an answer I thought, should I just be writing an answer telling this person what they should do, or should I step up and actually create a solution for this? And that's where this whole snowball started, and I've stayed up almost around the clock since, designing, testing, refining, and perfecting this to be the world's most accurate and advanced guitar measurement tool. I think we nailed it, and I know you're going to benefit from it. So come on over to the bench and check out some of the cool features of what I'm calling the Fret Guru Precision Setup and Evaluation Gauge, at least for now. One of the coolest things about the Fret Guru Precision Setup and Evaluation Gauge is that before you even get into the function of it, I mean, let's face it, the thing just looks cool and it looks like it does something important. Uh, but better than that, it actually works and it will replace a number of different tools on your workbench. This is like the Swiss Army knife of guitar tools. I mean, seriously, the only thing that's missing is a beer bottle opener. The string action gauge is really simple to use and it's never been this easy to get a super accurate string action measurement on your guitar. Basically all you do is you find the line that lines up with the underside of the guitar string. And if the bottom of the guitar string is even with the bottom of the line, then your action is equal to that number. If your guitar string is even with the top of the line, which is five thousandths thick, you just add five thousandths to that number. So in this case, uh, it's hard for me to see through the camera, but uh, it looks like it's running about 75 thousandths. It looks like it's on the top of the 70 line plus the 5 thousandths line thickness equals 75 thousandths. Pretty darn simple. One of the first things you probably notice about this is the unique first of its kind fret height and fret wear gauge. It's graduated in 5 thousandths increments and I originally intended that it would just be a reference gauge but as we got closer to production I found that the accuracy was dead on. Up until now, it's been really difficult to measure just how deep the fret wear is in a, uh, in a worn fret like this. In the past, you try to take something like the depth gauge on a caliper and try to read it like so. But the problem with that is the end of the gauge is so fat that it really can't get down into, into the, uh, the wear here, into the bottom of the fret wear. Another approach would be to take some type of straight edge and place it into the bottom of the fretware and bridge across to another fret and that's assuming that the fretware in the adjacent fret is just as deep, which it rarely is. Another problem is the thickness of a typical straight edge is too fat to get into the bottom of the wear. But assuming you could, you would place this in, in both fretware grooves and take a feeler gauge and try to find the right feeler gauge to get in between this to determine just how deep the fretware is and just how low you're going to have to level this fret to get to the bottom of the fretware. But in this case, this inlay might be a little tall, which it certainly is. So you, you can never get an accurate reading on that. I don't know about you, but I've always found those other methods completely clumsy and inaccurate. But with the new Fret Guru gauge, all you got to do is place it right over the fretware, start a little bit large, and these, these notches are graduated in 5,000 increments. 
from 25 thousandths up to 55 thousandths. So you start a little large and then slowly rotate it down till you find the groove that shows no daylight. Okay, that looks like the one, but we'll rotate one smaller. And sure enough, it still rocks in the even in the bottom of the fretware. So we'll back up one, and that appears to be it. The fretware here is 30 thousandths deep. So that's, uh, to me, that's time to replace these frets. Another cool feature in an industry first is this unique nut slot height gauge. Never before has been quicker and easier to dial in the, the final height of your nut slot without having to tune up and tune down and remove and replace the string trying to arrive at your final nut slot height. You basically just pay, place the thin edge of this gauge in the bottom of the nut slot and then bridge it across to the second fret and measure the gap as the gauge passes over the first fret. Now as you can see on this old Les Paul, the gauge is actually resting on the first fret. There's no gap at all, which means that this nut slot is just worn out and way too low. One of the amazing things about the Fret Guru Precision Setup and Evaluation Gauge is that even if it had only two or three of the main features, it would still be worth every penny just because it's so useful. But in this case, we've got probably three or four more different features. Right here we've got a depth gauge that's in 25 thousandths increments and goes all the way up to two and a quarter inches. This is great for checking, say, saddle slot depths on an acoustic guitar, saddle height on an electric guitar, pole piece heights. Uh, you can even set your router bit depth with this. It's just the, the uses for it are endless. Another unique and useful feature you're going to find on the back is this handy conversion chart which converts from decimals to fractions to millimeters. And one of the better parts of it is it takes the entire first millimeter in 0.1 millimeters, 0.2 millimeters, 0.3 millimeters, all the way up to one millimeter and converts that down to thousandths of an inch. So the whole first millimeter is incredibly fine. And that's the Fret Guru Precision Setup and Evaluation Gauge. If you're still with me at this point, you're probably seeing exactly how this can benefit you and your guitar playing. If you're a professional or aspiring luthier and you're looking for that extra edge to separate your work from all the other guys out there, then this is probably the most low-cost, high-bang-for-the-buck investment you could make to help you raise your game. In developing this, it was a struggle to find somebody who could make this tool with the accuracy that I insisted upon and still do it at a cost that made it even feasible to begin with. And after many tries where we found that most suppliers weren't even capable of the accuracy I wanted and nearly all were way too expensive, we were able to find a guy who was willing to get behind the project and also subject himself to my crazy standards. As an example, the fret height fretware gauge on this thing was originally intended just as a simple reference to give you a close idea, but I pushed him relentlessly to refine the standards and we were able to make the accuracy dead on. Now the big challenge is this guy is so book solid that he can only fit these in during the gaps between huge jobs. So long story short, these are done in small batches and they're completely flying off the shelves. You do the math. And already with only the first few that have gone out the door, these are getting rave reviews and testimonials from everybody who's received one. I'll share a few of them with you here. Anyway, enough babbling for me. At this point it should be fairly obvious how useful this would be on your workbench or in your guitar case. My advice here? Own one. There's really no excuse not to. This is one of those rare items that's so universally useful it should be on every serious luthier's workbench and in every serious guitarist's case. There should be a direct link to the item on the page here somewhere, so just go there now while these are still available. Also, be sure to hit the like button and leave the best address for me to reach you at in the subscribe box or at fretguru.com so I can give you a heads up when there's more next level guitar training ready for you. Until then, shred responsibly and I'll talk to you soon. Woke up this morning, got yourself a gun. Your mama always said you'd be there, chosen one. She said you're one in a million, you've got to. 
burn and shine But you were born under a bad sign With a blue moon in your eyes And you, you woke up this morning All that love had gone Your papa never told you about a Right and wrong But you, you're looking good, baby I believe you're feeling fine Shame about it, I born under a bad sign